In our ongoing studies of Chapter 18 on nitrogen metabolism, we want next to consider the synthesis of deoxynucleotides. In a previous lesson, we considered the synthesis of ribonucleotide triphosphates. To form deoxyribonucleotides, the triphosphates are first converted to diphosphate form. In other words, they are dephosphorylated. An enzyme known as ribonucleotide reductase then takes the ribonucleotide diphosphate and converts the 2' OH to a deoxy form, a deoxynucleotide diphosphate. The nucleotide diphosphates are then readily converted through phosphorylation to deoxynucleotide triphosphates. Through this process of ribonucleotide reductase, we thereby produce all four deoxynucleotides, deoxy-ATP, deoxy-GTP, deoxy-CTP, and deoxy-UTP. Remember, we began with ribonucleotide triphosphate. But we remember that deoxy-UTP is not incorporated into DNA. Instead, we incorporate deoxy-TTP. So let's look at how that is formed. Deoxy-UTP is actually rapidly converted to deoxy-TTP. We first take the deoxy-UTP and hydrolyze that to the monophosphate form. Then an enzyme known as thymidylate synthase simply adds a methyl group highlighted here in red. Once we form the deoxy-TNP, it's rapidly converted through phosphorylation to deoxy-TTP. And we'll note in this process of thymidylate synthase it uses our familiar cofactor tetrahydrofolate as that one carbon carrier of the methyl group. Just one more note about synthesis of nucleotides. Cancer cells result from uncontrolled cell growth. So in these cells, the nucleotide biosynthetic enzymes are very active, and therefore become, they become the targets for anti-cancer drugs used in chemotherapy. The problem is these drugs target specifically rapidly growing cells. That does not involve all of the cells of the body, but it does involve certain normal cells, such as hair follicles, marrow cells, and cells in the digestive tract. Because of this, there are certain common side effects for chemotherapy involving the loss of hair, a compromised immune system, and digestive disturbances. In our next video lesson, we want to look at catabolism of nucleotides and see how the catabolic pathways of pyrimidines and purines differ.